we're getting ready to unload these loose aluminum cans we have in this van trailer. Let me show you the machine we use to get these cans into the trailer, and then we'll unload these and run them through the baler. So this is the can crusher blower machine we use to load the loose cans into the van trailers. Basically, you just dump the loose cans into this feed hopper. They go up the conveyor belt, and on that conveyor belt, there is a magnet that will pull out any steel, and that steel will drop down onto that little chute there. And then the cans, once they get to the top of the conveyor belt, fall down into this crushing chamber. They'll get smashed flat, and then they'll drop down into the blower, which will shoot them out this tube and into the trailer. And you can see this trailer is pretty much empty because we've already emptied this one today. And unfortunately, this trailer is getting a little bit worn out. And the guys have put a few holes in the sides. But we just use this trailer on the yard so it only moves from this warehouse where we collect the cans up to the baler to get unloaded and then back down here. It never goes on the road. Unfortunately, I just realized when we opened the rear doors of the trailers and all the cans came crashing out, I had forgotten to press the record button on the GoPro. So I'm going to try to upload a little clip that I took on my cell phone, but that's why it's in up and down format rather than widescreen. One of the nice 
nice things about this baler is it'll run an automatic cycle. So it'll basically continuously run the conveyor belt until there's enough cans in the hopper for it to push them forward into a bale. You can see once the hopper starts to get full, it turns off the conveyor belt and, and the main ram pushes out to compress the cans. And then when this pulls back, all these cans on top will fall down. The conveyor belt will turn back on and it'll continue to do that until it's made a full bale and then it'll stop and eject the bale and strap it. I'll try to show you that here in just a second as well. And so this is what the bales of cans look like after they come out of the baler. You can see it's a pretty neat cube. Of course, there's a little bit of stuff that falls off. We just bale that in with the next set. But after these come out of the baler, we weigh them and put a weight on them so we know how much they weigh. And then we actually store them in a van trailer, which I'll get getting ready to show you. That way they stay in the dry because at the mill, they want these to have as low a moisture content as possible. So we've pretty much outgrown our warehouse space. So we took these van trailers and we cut the landing gear and the axles out from underneath them and set them down on the ground. So now we can store different materials in each trailer. And this one is dedicated to just aluminum cans. So you can see all the way down they're stacked three high. And these bales weigh on average anywhere from about 1,000 to 1,200 pounds. You can see the weights on these. And these trailers work pretty well for this because when the trailer is completely full with stacks of three we know we have a full load that's ready to go to the aluminum mill and so we're just about i don't know six or seven bales shy right now so since we only have that many more to go i'll go ahead and take an order and get a delivery for the aluminum mill and then when we get finished unloading the trailer over there and getting them bailed up plus what we'll receive between now and our mill delivery will certainly have a full load. So that's pretty much it for today. You can see behind me that the van trailer is now empty. They've got all those cans bailed. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more in depth of what happens to your aluminum cans after you take them to the recycling center or the scrap yard. And now from here, they'll head straight to the aluminum mill where they'll be shredded, then melted down and made into new products. More than likely, they'll be made into new cans that you'll be using in a couple weeks. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.